everyone, it is Mary. I hope that you guys have been doing amazing. So, it has been forever since I've done a video, and I want to apologize for that. <coughs> the reason I haven't been doing videos is, you know, I I, I don't know, but I'm I, I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna try to be doing them more often, so that I can um. So I can reach more of you about Jesus. But anyway, I hope that you guys have been putting on your love glasses. Not worrying about what people think about you. And just being yourself. Um, being who you truly are. So, um, and being who God wants you to be. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take these off now. The devil does not want this message out. He has been pounding me about this message. He has not wanted it to come out. Every attempt I've done at this video, I've terribly failed. My tablet doesn't have enough storage in it. And, uh, by the way, that's not, that's why I don't have an intro for this video is because I'm recording on a tablet and I don't have my editor. But, um, next video I'll record on my, um, computer so I can get that. Um, That introduction there. So, um, so today, I hope that you looked at the title of the video. You probably did. But, um, I am going to be talking about more stuff about churches. Which is interesting, because I do a lot of videos on these. I probably do more videos on these than anything else. But, um, I... Um, you know, I just want to start off this video by saying, you know, you can be born and raised in church, you can, um, you can go to church your whole childhood and your whole adult life, um, and, uh, get married in church, have kids and raise them in church, and you yourself can even die in church, in a church building, and still go to hell, because you know why, you know why? You went to church, but you didn't go to Jesus. You went to church, but you didn't seek Jesus for your whole heart. You gave your church your money, your time, your energy, but you gave God nothing. And you want to, and you know what, and you want to know what's so sad? This is all done in the name of Jesus Christ. This is real using his name in vain. Not saying OMG or something like that. This is real using his name in vain. And um, I'm not at all trying to say that all churches are bad. What I'm trying to get the point across here is that you need to get out of these dead churches. Though, And God, if he's given you discernment, he will let you tell the ones that aren't of him. Most of them are, aren't. I'm sorry. But every church I've went to, mm -mm. And I want to share this little testimony with you. I don't know if I've shared it with you guys before. But, um, it's, it was about three years ago. Um, I was at this church, this was when God was starting to show me about the churches. Um, yeah, this was when God was just starting to open up my eyes. You know, when I was little, you know, when I was younger, I had... I, I didn't really have a problem with churches. I loved it. But as I started to get older, I realized, hey, this isn't right. Something is not right here. So I, um, I went to a church and, um, and boy, was I shocked by what I saw. The church service was okay. Um, you know, it seemed like it was okay, but of course it wasn't. You know, God was just starting to open up my eyes to so be easy on me here. But as we were leaving, this all happened so fast too. As we were leaving, as we were driving to get out, you know, like exiting the parking lot. It was like a weird setup. The church was kind of set up weird, so you kind of had to go around this curve. The church was right there in front of me as we were going out. And I looked, and I'm like, 
there was this, th th I was shocked because there was this blackish oval, like half oval kind of feature, like a ghost-ish thing, like a, a demon or something like that. I was standing there in front of the church, and this happened very fast. As soon as I looked at it, it was like, oh no, I'm exposed, I need to run off. So it just, it ran to the right. And uh, it kept running until it got to the middle of the opposite side of the parking lot. And uh, the light was very, like, wasn't too bright. And once the vi light kind of ended, it just vanished off to into the darkness. Because it was a night service. It was dark. So, um, after that, I was very, I was like, my goodness, this is a place where the spirit of God is supposed to be. But yet, there's demons running around. And I'm like, well, what the heck is that? And, um, in this past year, um, it was in January 2019. This was in, when God was really waking me up about the churches. And, uh, we was in this church building. Me and my mom. And, um, God was like, this per- This- This pastor, he was like, He said, This is what he said. He looked at, um, he didn't look down, the people looked down, because they was, they was guilty. The pastor said, we have a record. Who's been paying their tithes, 2018? We can see who hasn't been t paying their tithing. Honey, people looked down, they were ashamed, they were guilty. That's what happened. And let me tell you something. If a church only wants your money... It isn't a church. It is a money-begging organization. That's what I call it. Uh, money-begging or organization. That's what it is. A building. A building that wants nothing but your money. And, um... And I'm like, oh my goodness. that This is not the way that the pastor is supposed to be acting. You know, um... Uh... And it started getting so bad in there. I was, like, hot. I had to go in the bathroom, splash water on my face. Like, you know how people do in the movie? I, that's what I had to do. And I'm like, my goodness, I, I couldn't handle it. I was getting sick to my stomach. I couldn't handle being in that church service anymore. And it seemed like I heard the Lord speak to me. And he said, dead bones. And I'm like, what the heck? And he's like, no, dead bones. And I'm like, okay, Lord. So... It was a really interesting experience there, and we've never went back. And uh, that was the closest church to us at the time, so I, we didn't go back. We just tried it out. Um, well, we wasn't trying it out. We actually went there so my mom could um, give a message that the Lord gave her, but she ended up, she ended up speaking, and uh, the pastor let her speak, but. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I wanted to share to not today. Um, guys, there is no time to keep playing around with God and to keep going to these dead churches thinking that they are going to save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. He is the one that can save you. No one else can save you. Only him. Not even a church building. Only Jesus Christ. And we need to go to him with our whole heart, repent before it's too late. I have a sister in Christ named Jackie Julian. She's on YouTube. She's on Facebook. Um, on Facebook, her name's Julian Love. Or Love Julian. I'm pretty sure it's Julian Love. Yeah, it's Julian Love. But um, on YouTube, she's Jackie Julian. And she shares messages that she records on her podcast thing. And she posts them on there. And let me tell you something right now. She, she had a new message that the Lord gave her. You know, go over there on her... Well, listen to some of her messages and, you know, um, you know, she's really good. She has those good messages that the Lord has given her. And I don't know if you guys have heard of her or not, but she said the Lord told her, the Lord gave her a dream, gave her a word. It was so hard to comprehend because it was so much, um, God gave her this dream. In this message, I was shocked. The Lord himself told 
Jackie, that time is running out and 2020 is the, the year. He didn't give a date or a time. He just said the year that things will take place. And he said 2020 will go by record speed, faster than it's ever went before. And guys, it's called The King is Coming, Urgent. You guys need to go and watch that if you want further detail. This tablet is, um, it'll probably run out of storage soon and it'll start my stop my video and I'll have to do it all over again. So tonight, I, before I end this, I want to say tonight, Friday, December 20th, I am doing a broadcast with a sister in Christ named Patricia Hangman and, um, I will leave her, um, it's, the topic is obedience to God in these last days. I will leave the, I will leave the link to her channel, because it'll be on her channel. It'll be a Skype call. Um, you can join it live or do the playback. Watch the playback, playback if you want. And it will be in the description, and it will be in the comment section. So, um, please go to that. It's 9 p.m. Eastern time, so, you know, if you're in a different time zone, it's going to be a a different time so just figure out when it'll be where you're at and uh please if you have the opportunity go to it it could help you and uh thank you for watching and uh i hope that you guys will have a blessed day remember to put on your love glasses god bless bye